If I buy a oil tanker and it breaks in half, I know who to call. Captain Kirk or the Starship Enterprise. starring Chris Pine, Holiday Granger, Eric Banya, Ben Foster, and Casey Affleck. This movie is based on a true story of a Coast Guard rescue when an oil tanker split apart back in the 1950s in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean somewhere off the coast of Chesapeake Bay, Massachusetts. The Massachusetts Coast Guard sends out Bernie Weber, played by Chris Pine, and Ben Foster's character, Richard Livesey, goes out there with him, as well as a couple other men, to rescue what's left of the survivors of the oil tanker. Meanwhile, back on land, Chris Pine's commanding officer, Daniel Clough, played by Eric Banya, is monitoring the whole situation by radio. Chris Pine's Fiance Miriam, played by Holiday Granger, is hoping he'll come back and demanding that he be called back because afraid that he's going to die out there trying to save these people. And that's basically the plot of our movie. Now, all these actors are great actors. Unfortunately, it's not that great direction, it's not a great script, and the movie's not very good. Let's talk about the pauses of the movie. Chris Pine is pretty good in the movie. Holly Granger is good in the movie. They have great chemistry. Eric Banya is okay. Uh, Casey Affleck is great. He's the best actor in the whole movie. Ben Foster is pretty good. The movie gives a really good feel of the 1950s. I really did like the feel of the 1950s with this movie and the, the clothes were done very well. Everything you really did a good job making you feel like you're in the 1950s in the middle of a blizzard. The negatives of this movie though, for starters, is the romance between Chris Pine and Holiday Granger feels way too much like something out of a Nicholas Sparks movie. Too much of the movie you can tell you can, it, that it's shot in a uh, set in front of a green screen. There are scenes when Holiday Granger is walking around in, in blistering cold winter weather with no coat on and she really doesn't even look all that cold, really. You can feel like it, they're really in front of a green screen a lot of times. The, the ending is too unrealistic. There are scenes when Chris Pine and his crew of Coast Guard people are going through waves of water to get to this half of the boat and they are not getting wet. The Coast Guard people, are, when they get into the half of the ship, they're not getting wet really. They're blasting through the waves but they're not getting wet really. And especially Chris Pine. The Coast Guard people out in the front of the boat using the searchlight, they're getting wet, but really the Chris Pine himself, he's not getting wet, which that took me out of the movie quite a lot. But aside from that, this is a pretty good movie, and Casey Affleck is one of the best parts of the whole movie, the way he takes charge of the situation, since he is nominated as the leader of the, of the survivors on the boat to try to control the situation and do whatever it takes necessary to keep their half of the boat afloat while they're waiting for a rescue to come up, to come around. That is done pretty well. I really did like that part. So overall, I'm gonna give this movie a C plus. It's basically a pretty high rental, but if you wanted to go see it, I'd say go as a matinee. Really, don't go full price. It's certainly not worth that. And that's all I gotta say for The Finest Hours.